right now, I'm in an exciting project here in Ecuador to study how we can utilize alternative food movements as sort of a resource to address the worst pandemic on the planet, which is a chronic disease tied to primarily overweight obesity and modern food. It's a campaign that's organized to recruit 250,000 families, a critical mass of about 5% of the Ecuadorian population who are in these alternative food networks or close to them. A lot of it was achieved through communication mechanisms. The previous project with IDRC focused on marketing. And, and so a lot of the project really developed uh, the social networks and the uh, technical ability, um, but also the initial relationships. And when these relationships were in place, they were ready to address a crisis. And so all of a sudden the government realized that if they promoted supermarkets, if they did not allow these family farmers to get their produce to market, they were gonna create a hunger problem right now. And so the municipality, for example, of Quito, but also the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Government, the Ministry of Agriculture, went straight to that network um, saying, you know, we want uh, food baskets provided to the city. And immediately there were about 2,000 families that immediately got access to food to that network. 